To write the formula for nickel 2 phosphate, we look up nickel on the periodic table. Its element symbol is Ni. Phosphate, that's not on the periodic table. It ends in ATE. It's a polyatomic ion. So we need to look up phosphate on a table of common polyatomic ions or have it memorized. Either way, phosphate's PO4, 3 minus. Nickel's a metal. Phosphate, that's a group of nonmetals. So we have metal and nonmetals. That's ionic. With ionic compounds, we need to think about the charges on the nickel and then on the phosphate. We have some help here. Nickel, it says right here, 2. That Roman numeral 2 means nickel's a 2 plus. That's its ionic charge. Phosphate, we said, was 3 minus. And these charges, they need to add up to 0. We need to have a net charge of 0. Right now, they don't. We can use something called the crisscross method to change the subscripts, though, to make that happen. We can move the 3 down here, and then the two over here. Get rid of these. And then we need to put parentheses around the phosphate. It's a polyatomic ion, and we have two of them. So we'll put parentheses around the phosphate. And this is the formula for nickel 2 phosphate. Let's check our work, though, make sure we got it right. We said nickel had a 2 plus charge because of the Roman numeral there, and we looked the phosphate up. That was 3 minus. So I have two phosphates, each one's 3 minus, 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. 3 of the nickels, 3 times the 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 6 plus, 6 minus, that adds up to 0. The net charge is 0. This is the correct formula for nickel 2 phosphate. Let's clean it up. And that's it, nickel 2 phosphate, Ni3PO4-2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.